Last Friday, I was privileged to attend the Women's World Day of Prayer service on Zoom in Carmarthen. And during the service, which was put together by the women of Vanuatu, uh, there was the wonderful uh, hymn, My Hope is Built on Nothing Less Than Jesus' Blood and Righteousness. And although that's a staple of our Christian faith, and although all of us would say that, that our Christian faith is built on faith, it's built on what God and Christ has done for us, all of us actually, I think, really think that our Christian faith is built on what we can do for God. Uh, I always remember in our curacy, uh, we had an interregnum. Um, there were three curates, my husband and the other curate, and then myself as a non-stipendiary. Uh, and our wonderful vicar left after about my husband and I's first year. And then a new uh, vicar came and he had uh, two small children and we were babysitting uh, them. And as we were driving past uh, the building, one of the buildings in the church, uh, his little daughter pointed out and said, oh, look, there's Daddy's church. And after a pause, uh, she, she remembered that she'd probably been told it wasn't Daddy's church, it was God's church. So she solemnly said to us, it's God's church. And then another solemn pause and she said, it's Daddy's church, really? And I think that sums up what all of us, <laughs> she was just saying what we all feel. We, of course, know, uh, of course, that, that God is responsible for our Christian faith, that God has done it. But there's somewhere deep in our childish hearts that really think that we are responsible. And it was only, I think, during the hectic years of my young motherhood and knowing, having had all my careful work of learning how to pray, of learning the techniques of prayer, all the different ones from all the different traditional Christian disciplines, learning all those. And it was wonderful. I loved all the early years of learning to pray, but having it all stripped away and not being able to put any effort at all because I had to commit to learning how to be a mum and looking after my family and working hard non-stop all the hours that there were and having to say through all that busyness, I know that you're with me, God. I I know that you're with me I know that you're with me and then one day I think it was about 15 years in realizing that I did actually sense the presence of God because he was with me not because I'd worked hard and learned how to pray but because God was upholding me in the busyness of my life and ministry God was upholding me and it came back to me in that lovely women's world day of prayer service when we sang that that wonderful revival hymn my hope is built on nothing less than jesus blood and righteousness so in the whether we live a busy life whether we live a quiet life whether we can practice all the wonderful traditional and modern disciplines of prayer whatever it is whether we have time or whether we are busy our prayer lives are still built on our relationship with God that comes through the grace of the Holy Spirit. It is God who upholds us. So never forget um, that it is God's Holy Spirit who upholds our prayer life. So open our hearts and lives to him in our quietness and in our busyness because it's his love that meets us because he loves us and wants to have a relationship with us. <laughs>